Hey yo together and very welcome to the stack of two unranked. I'm not quite sure if I should go into ranked or not. Possib pro probably not currently. Um, I do have more time now uh, playing StarCraft 2 and I am playing a little bit of StarCraft 2 lately. Not that much but it's it's enough. I get a rough idea on how to approach TVP uh, nowadays. I, I got a really nice build I have to say which which I really like. Uh, which I can show you uh, is, the, is the two base all in which actually is more like a two base push. Uh, not not it's it's very potent. It, it can end the game, so it's very strong. But it also transitions. It transitions late into a third base, but it's it's possible. So you you might you might see how how it works. Maybe maybe it doesn't work at all. It it depends on the game, of course. But normally normally I have a good feeling uh, playing this build nowadays. So this is exactly what I'm going to do here. It's it's a gas first. Um, expand with the Reaper. So gas first, Reaper expand, standard, very standard stuff there. Nothing special. You do get the SUV scout, which is very important against any one base shenanigans, uh, proxies, and all that crap. So you should you sh you wanna try to be safe, of course, and then excel in the. Not in the mid game, in the yeah probably. So at the at the six to seven minute mark, you wanna push out. Uh, the exact timing you can see. It's it's not a refined build at all. Uh, any professional gamer would would tell you that it probably is a very poor build. Uh, but for me it works. So that's that's the only thing that matters. If something works for you and for your for your league, which are you playing in currently, go for it. Just do it. Do whatever works for you. So there's there's the expand. Uh, I wanna still go in and and have have a small small look. Yeah, perfect. Hopefully it doesn't kill the SUV. Okay. So gasless expand. What? That's strange. Okay. Uh, that's so. Where's his where's his stuff? Oh, there it is. Okay, okay, I see. Uh, double gas? No, yeah, no, okay. Oh, that's a little bit early. That pull was way too early. Well, now it doesn't make sense to put it back. Um, yeah. He's scouting for any proxy. That's smart. I would recommend that. Okay. Okay, so so far it's looking okay. Not not very great, but it's okay. Maybe I can see, maybe I can find the uh, the probe lurking for any proxy and kill it. Uh, probably not, but I want to have a look. I want to I want to just scout around a little bit here. Okay, so maybe I can snack a probe here. Yeah, I get a pro. Two probes, that's great. Two probes is really good. Okay, so he's he's really annoying. Okay. So they're dead, they're dead. I think it's looking fine so far. Uh, the marines on the low ground are not a good thing to do. Don't don't do that. Try to avoid it if possible. So that's fine. That was a little bit late, I feel like. But anyway, it's it's okay. So I want to scout if there's another base coming out or not. Probably there is, so I need to be very careful. Ah, there's nothing yet, so...
Okay. Okay. Ah. Ah, okay. Whatever. <coughs> oh god. So, I, I want to make sure that this drop is working as intended. Okay, there we go. That's the drop. There we go. Maybe I can... Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. And go back. Okay. That's good. That's good so far. That's that's a lot of probe damage. And now I can, I can search for observer and all that. You see, there's the observer. Oh no! Don't, 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 no! Oh, okay. That's very important that you kill uh, that observer. I want to kill it. Okay. And of course, you want to make sure that you get the barracks straight. Come on. It's not perfect as you can see. I'm not doing the right things here. To tell, to say the least, but I'm I'm working on it. Basically, you you really do stuff like that, and then you can you can search for another observer if there is one, and you can try to be active with the Reaper a little bit, scout for things th that are going on and that you might miss or anything bad which can happen. And make sure to get Marauder. You need the extra attack damage, and which you can get. Okay, so I don't know what exactly he's doing, but so far it's looking okay. I don't see any... Oh yeah, and of course, don't forget that you need to produce the gas geyser at the perfect time. I didn't do it, so that's, that's bad. I can now get my command center. Maybe not on that spot, maybe down here is uh, better. And... So you get your upgrades done, you get everything you want, basically. Okay. And then, soon enough, you just attack. So we are now at the 6-7 minute mark, and you attack, and you see how it goes. Make sure your units, uh, your medivacs don't fly across the map on its own, so make sure to attack move them. Onto, onto a marine or something like that uh, and then you just go in it should it should line up with stim and combat shield nicely so you can you can you can go there he sees it now and we go up the ramp you see okay there's a colossus so we don't go there and it's totally fine so if he has colossus then that means you need to be a bit careful on how we approach this so we can we can we can clear this. We can we can attack there, and basically that's that's game. You can't do much here. Has nothing left, and and that's GG. You see, that's that's the easy game. That's the push. So <laughs> if you rewind a little bit, just to show you what I did, and I didn't do it correct. If you if you see uh, with the, with the with the barracks, the stim time, it's not perfect. No way near perfect, but it's but it's it's a really nice attack. If you can refine a bit more, make it more crisp, more better. Uh, the the second gas, the fourth gas, I mean, needs to be thrown down earlier. The plus one was a little bit too early for my taste, but maybe it's okay. Um, the raven is most most important uh, part here, and as you can see in the unit last tab, I killed so much. You get the scouting. Early on with the Reaper. First scout is with the SCV. Then you get the Reaper. Standard stuff. The next scout, you can you can scout with the Reaper. What I sometimes do, not on that map, it's difficult on that map. I think that you can't uh, go up there. Ah, maybe here. I could have done it. Because he didn't wall off. What, what you can do is... See, I didn't scout the forge. What you can do is when you, when you, when you, when you drop with your medivac. 
Ah, it's back here again. If, when you draw the Thimidivac, you can send in the Reaper for scouting and maybe the Reaper can snag one, two probes. You just put him here on hold command then, so sh so attack, not attack move, uh, left click, shift click, hold hold position, he will attack the probes and either, either he does react to the Reaper so he is like, oh, oh, okay, uh, attack Reaper. At the same time, you drop the Vidomites, he does the Vidomites, big success because you kill most of the probes. Or he reacts to the probes, you still get damage. Try to folk to target with the Vidomites on the Sentry or the Stalker, if possible, depending on if he if he went for Blink or not, and how many Stalker he got. Try to save the Vidomites; they are very important. At least they they the, the, for the push they're really good and don't lose the medivac. It's 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 not crucial if you do, but it's nice to have those three units alive for your push. So that's why I repair them as well. Always repair your units. So either you get some probes here with the reaper or lots of probes with the vitamins, or he's really skilled and then you're unlucky and he can deal with both at the same time. Then at least you tried. And you get some scouting. If you don't lose any units, perfect. You can throw away the Reaper, it's fine. So, and if you, if you go fast forward now, just a little bit, scout for the Observer if there is one. And you see, he doesn't see anything. He, he didn't even attempt to scout the main. He doesn't know what's coming. His third base is super late. Uh, he's only on five gates. Normally, Protoss, if they prepare, they go up to seven gates or even eight gates, I think. But he's going for tech. And as you can see, the army supply is horrible for him. He he doesn't see my attack coming, like, at all. He just now is like, ah, oh, maybe I want to scout. Uh oh oh! So don't go up there, scout, or scan. Go up or scan, do do whatever you want. And, and now is the attack. Look at the units. He got 9 stalker. 5 at the front, 4 here. They haven't, they, they don't have blink. They need to go over my decal I sprayed there. They have plus one, but I got plus one as well. And I got way more units. I got some Marauder. The Concussive Shells is not ready. It should be ready, but I messed up my timings big time here. So that's, that's not good. Still, with the Raven, if he got lots of units, like lots of gateway units, uh, use the armor missile, the anti-armor missile, maybe one or two. Or maybe just one if you get a big hit, then the rest auto turrets and pull back. If you got Colossus or Immortal, then use the Interference Matrix to make them 8 seconds deal no damage, only can moving and nothing else. Interesting thing is the Interference Matrix also works against War Prisms. If the enemy has a War Prism, he can't, uh, he can't unfold it, so ch change its mode. He can't drop units, I think he can't even lift units. So, very important. And what I just did is, uh, still done, interference matrix, he can't do shit, tries to force field, messes up big time. Look at those force fields, those are very bad. Uh, auto turret goes down two times, and they have damage. They have 18 damage every 0.57 seconds. That's a lot. Especially imagine you would hit with an uh, anti-armor missile, then those stalker would have minus two armor taking instant taking 20 damage. The anti-armor missile, if it hits big, every marine will deal 2 damage more. Then, so you are, you basically attack with plus 3 with this build. If you do the anti-armor missile, you will attack with plus 3 attack. At the 7 minute 50, holy, that's a lot of damage with stim. You attack with 0, 3 basically against the 0, 1 protoss. That's, whoa! And the, the biggest issue is, you get an expand behind that. You can go up to 8 barracks, you can go uh, the second starport, uh, eBay armory, uh, ghost academy, you can do whatever you want and you pressure him hard. Only thing is, if you mess up this attack, you're massively behind if, he, if you don't trade equal. That's, that's all. So that's my build for you today, which I'm currently playing in TVP. I only wanted to play, but I feel like this was more like a guide or something. Still hope you enjoyed it. So thank you for watching. As always, I wish you a very nice day. And let's check the... Yeah, rank 2. Crushed him. So with this build, if you execute it equally and it's the same same situation, you can crush 4,700 MMR. 
and goodbye. Hey yo there, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. Do you have any wishes, feedback or suggestions, put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day. Take care. Bye-bye.